Today I'm looking at the drain on my kitchen sink and you can see here what's happened is this um, slip nut here has failed which has allowed the pipe to separate and now anything that goes through the drain of course will just leak all down here in the cabinet. So what I'm going to do is take this off of here and uh, go to the hardware store and get a new one. So the first thing that I'll do is remove this bottom slip nut here and of course that's on there pretty well even though that's PVC pipe so I'm going to grab a pair of pliers here okay you can see there I finally got that separated. Uh, this was a little stiffer than I thought just because of all the corrosion on this part and this part feels very very soft. When it started to spin I could just feel it kind of crinkle and crack in there so that's that whole thing is ready to fail. The next thing I'll do is remove this clamp that holds the dishwasher drain tube on and that's just a matter of loosening this hose clamp. This should come off of here. Okay, a little bit of water there, so there. Okay. So I'll just let that drain in there. And now I should be able to pull this thing out of here. And you can kind of see if I'm in the shot here or not, but this thing is pretty well shot, so. I'll take a ride off to the hardware store and see if I can uh, get a replacement for this thing. Now before I before I head off to the hardware store I'm going to see if I can remove the rest of this old uh, slip nut. Yeah, okay, you can see that just kind of broke apart. And, Okay, so I ended up having to go all the way to Lowe's to get this uh, branch tailpipe, I guess is the proper name for it. Uh, I stopped at my local hardware store and they didn't have anything in stock, so I had to drive the extra 20 minutes or so to uh, get to the nearest Lowe's and uh, was able to pick this up. And just an interesting tidbit, this thing was not made in China, as you would expect from something from Lowe's. It looks like it was actually made in Newington, Connecticut which is uh, not too far from here. So that was kind of a pleasant surprise. So anyway, before I put that in place, I'm going to clean off some of the old junk here from the threads and inside the drain pipes while I've got it all apart. You can see here I've put some Teflon tape on the threads and uh, I ended up using this this stuff here, which was the cheapest stuff that Lowe's had and I should have sprang for the little bit better stuff. It would have been a little thicker and easier to work with. This stuff just was real hard to kind of get on here flat and get on the threads. But I think it'll be okay for, for the purposes of this drain. But if I were going to do this again, I would get the, uh, the better tape. The next thing that I'm going to do... The next thing that I'm going to do is cut down the length of the new piece a little bit so that it matches the old one a little closer. Um, I think it would be okay if I just used it as it is, but it is a little bit long. You can kind of see it extends down here a little bit, and that could, uh, I don't know, that might promote clogging, I'm not sure. So it's not going to hurt. I'll just cut a couple inches off of there with a hacksaw and then, uh, and then put it in place. Okay, I've got the pipe cut down to length there with a hacksaw. And now I'm going to slip on this this other slip nut here that I bought. And this just consists of the slip nut and a taper gasket, or, or a poly washer, I guess is what the official name is. Okay, so now I put the slip nut on. You can see here I've actually removed some of the uh, label here, just to prevent uh, any sealing issues. So I'm going to slip the slip nut itself on, and then I'm going to put this poly washer on the pipe with the taper facing down 
or towards the other pipe. And I'll slip slip this up here a little bit and you can see that's partly why I removed the label just to make sure that that would slip up and seal good. So now with that kind of up and out of the way I'll drop it onto the existing pipe the trap and I'll kind of set that down there. And now what I'll do is I'll attach it to the sink first, the sink end first. Okay, now at this point, while this is getting kind of tighter, I want to make sure that I keep this tube oriented more or less towards the dishwasher uh, drain the way that it was originally. Okay, that should be good and tight. Now that that's tight, I'm going to bring this side of the slip nut down and lock it down to the, the trap here. And you can see that will push that nylon washer into the joint and help seal that up. Okay. Uh, I guess that could tighten a little more. Okay, that all seems pretty tight. The next thing that I'll do is reattach the dishwasher connection. Um, but because this one's a little bit different than the old one and uses kind of a fatter tube than this one did, I'm going to loosen up this hose clamp and I'm going to slip it over the fat end of this coupler instead of the small end. So that's slipped over there. I'm going to slip that onto the drain tube, get that nice and seated. I'll back this up a little so it's more centered. And I'll tighten that down here. Okay, now that it looks like everything's assembled, I want to turn the water back on. I'm going to first make sure the faucet's off. Now I can turn the water on. Okay, so now I'll turn on the water, and you should be able to hear the water running there, and water is going down the drain like it should, and I don't feel any wetness or see any leaks here, and everything looks good as far as this part goes. Now as a test, I've put some water in the dishwasher, and now I'll uh, just activate the dishwasher drain and take a look at that and make sure nothing leaks there. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's visible in the camera, but I can see the water running through this pipe, and I can hear it running through the rest of the drain, and I don't see or feel any wetness or leaks or anything like that here. That will wrap up the replacement of this dishwasher drain tailpipe. Hopefully this video was helpful. Uh, feel free to leave a comment or subscribe if you feel like doing so, and as always, thanks for watching.